Welcome back to Tea Time at the Art Desk. So this is a series that I started on my TikTok and I didn't actually end up tagging it right. Uh, so there was a lot of these that I did that I never actually said Tea Time at the Art Desk. <laughs> uh, so I'm rebooting the series and I'm gonna do it here on my brand new YouTube channel. So if you haven't, please like and subscribe and uh, let's get into it. So I did uh, I did one of these for my Patreon and I talked about the ugly stage of a painting and it can be it can be very difficult for artists to want to talk about what they don't like to do and it can be very difficult for artists to talk about mistakes that they have made or paintings that they hate. I don't completely hate that one, but the point is, it can be very difficult for artists to actually want to like get it together and talk about things that are uncomfortable for them. Things that they wish that the public didn't see. Well, we're taking the blinders off here. We're, we're opening things up and I'm going to talk about chasing what's in your head. Absolutely none of the paintings I'm about to show you accurately depict what's in my head based on a photograph that I took in Ireland. So here's the photo. And you can see they're not far off. This is the first in the series that I did. The sky is all wrong. The tree is not horrible, but I don't know what happened with this over here. And the grass is not terrible, but it's not right. I did this one next. The sky's a little bit better. The tree's a little bit better, but the ground is awful. This is the third one that I did. It's, again, not terrible. It's not right. So then I took a year off of this one, came back and did this one next. Changed the layout, uh, went, went portrait the way the actual photograph is, um, centered the tree, took out a lot of the background, and um, yeah, I managed to not like this one either. So then I was like, okay, well, let's go really minimal. Let's go really minimalist and just let the water do what it will. And I gotta say, I love the background in this one. Um, I love the way the, the paint played over the surface of the water down here. How the, how the ground caused that, that um, just it looks amazing. I love how that turned out. The tree, not right. Still not right. So I tried it again. And this time I just, I said, you know, screw it. The background is gonna be whatever the background is. And so, it's better but it's still not right. It's still not what I had in my head. And I do like the way the trees, these little trees came out. This is a little bit better. It's still not right. So, so what do we do then? Well, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of my friends upon seeing these said, how many, Erica, how many times have you painted this tree? Well, dear viewer, this is about half of the number of times I have painted this tree. I'm not even joking here. And that's not even including sketches that I've done. And some of them I ripped up. Some of them I trashed while they were still wet. Uh, some of them are probably still exist in a portfolio somewhere. Um, the point, however, being that 
it is a good thing that I have painted this this many times. And I'm going to tell you why. Between the first one and the last one, look at the, num the amount of change between these two. Even, even this, which is a tree I'm, I'm not particularly thrilled with. I like this background. I like this idea for the tree. There are elements of each of these that I love. There are elements of each of these that I'm very proud of. There are elements of each of these that I will use again in other paintings that I do. Watercolor is notoriously a hard medium, and it's not my primary medium. If you've watched any of my any of my TikTok, then you'll know this is not my primary medium. This is my primary medium. Gouache in a medieval style. This is really goatskin vellum. But it's important for artists to branch out as well. So, watercolors. But notoriously, this happens to every artist. So, if you're a painter and you're watching this and you're going, oh my god, it's me. Yeah, it's all of us. It's absolutely all of us. So don't give up. Don't despair. Keep painting. Paint it as many times as you feel like you need to paint it. And this honestly may be a painting that I never get right. I may just have to come to terms with the fact that one day I will stop trying to paint this tree and just enjoy the photograph that I took. That is a possibility. It's also possible that one day I will sit down at my desk and put my brush laden with paint, heavy with water, to the page and get exactly what I was hoping for. I don't know. That's honestly one of the reasons I love painting. It's just fantastic. So if you're a painter, don't give up. Keep striving, keep working, keep doing all the things. If you're not an artist, apply this in some other area of your life. There's a skill that you've been wanting to learn that's really giving you troubles. Keep trying at it. Don't, don't give up. Anyway, thank you for having a cup of tea with me. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get that notification every time I post. And welcome to the art desk.